I'm Ashton Addison from BlockQuest Capital for Investment Pitch Media and the Crypto Coin Show. And today on Blockchain Interviews, we have Sharif Abishadi, Education at Near Protocol. We did speak with Ilya, one of the founders of Near Protocol in the beginning of this year. And Near Protocol is just so fascinating to me. I think it's one of the huge up and coming, already up, uh, you know, layer one protocols that has a lot going on. I would love for you to kick it off by just talking a little bit about uh, the near protocol and the near education and then we can dive into the details so we're all just working on the same challenging problem which is maintaining a kind of forever history uh, that's economically incentivized truth and uh, at near i think without any hesitation as this is at you know 25 years in the industry this is one of the strongest if not the strongest team i've ever uh, had the pleasure of working with technically speaking uh, near's uh, core talent is just it's it's really hard to believe sometimes the conversations uh, that you overhear and how fast things just kind of pick up and it's all open source, you can take a look, but that's remarkable. And so as an educator in this space, I've been with you for a couple of years now, I do my best just to keep up and to hold this high bar of you know, technical accuracy and at the same time making things accessible to folks who are just coming out of coding boot camps with a couple of months of experience or veterans of the industry with 10, 15 years transitioning from you know web to, and most of us think is the, is the, the World Wide Web today, uh, people transitioning into this new web three space. And so, uh, so in that sense, I think uh, there's really a lot to learn and um, there's a lot that we can carry over from what we already know. In fact, you can sort of think of all of the innovation of the last 20, 25 years coming because of the guaranteed movement of data around the planet. Can you talk about, you know, with all these layer ones upcoming in the next year or two, as some of them rise to the top, do you see Near Protocol as one of those that is just totally leading blockchain innovation? What we've seen in the DeFi space in the last 24 months, these are things you could hardly imagine. If someone had come to you and, and just really tried to shake you and convince you a year or two ago that we would be where we are today, I don't think that uh, they would be able to, to convince you. So it's, it's really incredible. Looking forward is even harder because things are getting faster. We can all feel it. Anybody up speed, getting more complicated, getting a little bit faster, getting a little bit harder to keep up with uh, year in and year out. From our perspective, it really is about partnerships and outreach. It's about education. Uh, it's about meeting consumers where they are today, uh, instead of trying to convince them that they need to switch to some new way of thinking about the world. Meet them with the highest quality user experience, with um, onboarding that's seamless, with user interfaces that look familiar and feel familiar. It's also about developers and meeting them uh, at a place mm -hmm. where it's easy to think about building an application on blockchain. Yeah, it's just a, a slow, expensive day database. That, that's actually good enough for your first year. The price of slow and expensive, the, the trade-off there is that you basically get a database that doesn't lie. You're inviting uh, you know, developers and researchers and designers to come and join us for our fellows program. You can check out near.university for that. In fact, just this week, we launched a program to attract teachers. A thousand teachers. I would love to see a thousand teachers talking about this. And I don't just mean software development teachers. Of course, uh, mm -hmm. you know, if you have a technical background, that's great. But I I'm actually thinking of the history teacher, the philosophy teachers, the economics teachers, the home economics and social studies teachers that are going to kind of inspire the imagination of youth to spend some time trying to think about the world and where it's going to be in the next 10 or 20 years. It really is that kind of time. And we need more than just software development engineers and speculation to get there. I think we need some some really big ideas and some fresh ideas. And so that's what we're hoping to attract. That's who we're hoping to attract with this thousand teachers program. When you were talking about, you know, all those building blocks for the protocol and what's needed, what I was thinking of in the back of my mind until you said it was the developers. It's hard to have lots of applications that people around the world are using if there's no developers and, and development to actually build those applications. And I would love for you to talk a little bit more about how easy is it on near protocol to develop applications? Can developers easily move from outside of blockchain or from other blockchain? chains to develop on near it's really up to developers to come and check it out to see what it feels like we hear often from developers that come uh, that things are very easy surprisingly easy on near from a technical perspective the abstractions are clean the tooling is easy to use and maturing quickly um, the apis are well documented and examples are you know full and complete and so on uh, so it, it feels welcoming it feels like a place that that uh, sort of that you belong quickly. In terms of you know, give me some data. You might say uh, we have a program in place right now near certified developer where people are coming in and, and uh, learning how to spell near on a Thursday, building a demo uh, before dinner, and then uh, starting fellowship uh, full part time 
you know, paid work in the community on Monday. It's like two business days turnaround from what is this thing to, you know, uh, thank you so much, I'd like to contribute today. Yeah, it's incredible. Junior devs uh, with, again, just few months experience out of boot camp, uh, mm -hmm. they come in, they sort of get an idea of what this thing is, and they can start building. Uh, it's like a serverless function. It's like an API call. It's, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, familiar mental models that they're using uh, to build these things.